¿Qué tal amigos? Una nueva edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network y en este show vamos a pasar de inmediato a una test drive muy especial que hicimos con el nuevo Honda Fit 2015 en San Diego con Carl Pulley, uno de los especialistas de Honda North America. How are you, Carl? Very well, thank you, Javier. Thank you very much for having us here in uh, San Diego. Beautiful weather as always, like perfect weather in wow. San Diego. It's always uh, great to have members of the press come to these things, and yeah, we've got yeah. some beautiful roads that we're driving on. So we're on the new 2015 uh, Honda Fit, and uh, pretty much new in everything, right? Yep, from the ground up, uh, all new engine, two all new powertrains, uh, new chassis, so yeah, basically everything new. And also, it's uh, new, the, the place where it's uh, going to be built for the North American market, because it used to be built in Japan, right? Indeed, yes, now it's going to be it's, uh, built in a, in a whole new um, state-of-the-art facility in Salai, Mexico, and all of the fits for the U.S., uh, well, for North America, are going to come from that uh, new factory. Yeah. Because the, the Fit is a global car, and uh, I guess uh, you were limited to the amount of cars that you could have here for the States. Yes, I mean, th there's other markets where um, the Fit is a little bit more prominent in the markets, in Europe, in Japan, Southeast Asia, in China. So the, the challenge that we had was that um, we could only get a limited supply of Fit. So, I mean, it sold very, very well. For the, the limited supply that we had, but now we're not limited by production any longer. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the, the new things. Uh, you said the engine is new? Yes, um, it's a new 1.5 litre uh, direct injected engine. So this is our second direct injected engine. The first one was on the Accord, which is a 2.4 litre. So many advantages with the uh, um, high pressure direct injection, um, far better atomization, which is uh, much better for, um, for combustion efficiency, which provides better power as well as better fuel economy. And also the transmission, it used to be uh, an automatic and now it's CVT. CVT. Yeah, so um, we previously had um, a five-speed automatic and now we have a CVT, uh, which uh, is a new design. Um, we first used it on our Civic, um, so it's basically the same unit as the Physic, but obviously um, it's specifically tuned for the fit, for the slightly smaller engine. It um, has a um, higher capacity torque converter, and, and that's what you feel when you step on the gas, where you have that immediacy of, of, of motive motion. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of CVTs, conventional CVTs, you have that kind of rubber band feeling where, yeah. you know, the engine seems yeah, to be the, working. The first generation of those were kind of bad, and with this one you don't feel anything. Exactly, yeah, so we're very, very proud of what the engineers did with the new CVT, and of course it allows for that very wide ratio range, it allows the engine to, um, virtually all driving conditions being its optimum rev range, which again provides you with the great power as well as the, uh, the wonderful yeah. fuel economy. Are the MPG numbers already out? Yes, they are, and um, we have uh, top of the class numbers. We actually have for the CVT, uh, we have 36 combined MPG. Wow. And uh, that, that's the only transmission, or there's like another option for the powertrain? No, there is indeed another transmission for those who like uh, uh, manual stick shift, um, maybe for those that like to drive a little bit more sportier. Mm -hmm. We have a new six speed manual transmission. Okay. And uh, that has a 5% uh, wider ratio range than the previous 5-speed. Uh, and uh, so obviously with the 6-speed, we have uh, closer ratios for each individual um, gear ratio and a wider ratio range overall. And we, we did a lot of uh, changes primarily to the, the stick shift mechanism. Um, it has a shorter throw, it's more precise. Um, and we've reduced the friction from various components. Yep. And so um, those that, that like to have control of the transmission, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very sporty and precise uh, gear lever to, to change into those six different gears. Yeah, even though the new transmissions, the CVTs, the automatic transmissions, are much better than any driver, I, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's uh, yeah, you'd have to be a, a very good driver to be able to uh, compete with the efficiency <laughs> of the CVT. The computers. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> So uh, another cool thing about the, the um, fit is that you guys are retrofitting a lot of cool uh, and pretty high-tech uh, features. Like uh, I love the lane. Uh, what's the official name for the camera? Uh, the, the, the lane watch. The lane watch. That thing is amazing. You know, it, 
the Honda is one of our main focuses is, is safety and if we can assist the driver to be a safer driver and of course blind spots can pose so many potential issues yeah so um, especially with the with lane watch you have this nice wide view of the passenger side of the vehicle so um, it expands your view and uh, just just makes you so much safer and the one thing thing about it is that you turn on the turn signal and it'll automatically go but if you want to have a quick look even when you're not necessarily turning you just press the end of the uh, turn signal stalk oh, I see. and it'll uh, it'll show that view uh, as without well without distracting the other people exactly and, it, and for miami it'll be good because nobody uses the turn signal in miami <laughs> <laughs> so like that's like uh, cheating the system a little bit uh, another cool thing the rear view camera is it standard now it's no fits? yeah this this is the, 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 the Fit is the only model um, in its class where the rear view camera is a standard feature for all models. So the LX, the EX, the EXL, and then the EXL with Navian. And as you saw, um, we have the uh, EXL uh, right now. And as you were backing up, you were turning the steering wheel and the guidelines, they actually move to show you pro your projected path. Yeah. So that's a nice additional feature for the higher trim level. And also the three different views for the rear view camera, which I don't think I've ever seen in any other cars. And that's pretty useful because in the regular one, you see more or less the lines and yeah, the direction in some of the features, but in this one, you see three view, three different views. Indeed, where we have the, the regular mode, and then we have the wide mode, which is uh, almost 180 degrees, so um, you can see so much more to the side. Uh, and then we have the um, view downwards, which is kind of like a bird's eye view, especially when you're backing up maybe into a, uh, a parking spot, uh, maybe in a parking structure where yeah. you have a wall there, you can see that wall. Like, or more, much more clear than, than, absolutely. Uh, than, than you will see with the other more general view. And obviously, um, I mean, it's it's such a huge safety thing with regards to, you know, especially families that have children, you know, yeah. children playing Bets. around, that could be that could be an issue. So, yeah. you know, we, we want to try to prevent any sort of potential yeah. tragedy from something like that happening. Yeah. So, And I know, think the government is moving forward into, like, demanding that to be a standard feature, so you're moving ahead of the game. Absolutely, yeah. Honda often drives these safety features. We're, we're often the first company to introduce new safety features and, you know, we want it to be available for everyone, hence, yeah. you know, this, this wonderful fit, a subcompact vehicle with these, you know, um, wonderful technologies that assist in, in driver safety, as well as occupant safety, as well as the people around, other road users, pedestrians, and so forth. Yeah, and also, um, I mean, we're driving here almost uh, 60 miles an hour, and pretty quiet cabin, you guys have done a lot of work in that too. Yes, I mean, and this was from the ground up, I mean, we didn't just mask the sound, um, the the whole body structure is made in a different way. We use a lot more high uh, strength steel, um, which allows us to have the same rigidity without as much weight. But also, more importantly, with regards to to NVH um, noise vibration and harshness, harshness, is that it it allows for tighter tolerances, which then provides better sealing. Um, so therefore, we kind of prevent those road noises coming into the cabin. Uh, likewise with the new door construction, which is a, a pressed form, that also provides better sealing. And of course, you know, we, we use uh, sound proofing materials which uh, further isolate road noise and engine noise from the cabin. Yeah. Uh, so this segment is very, very competitive. I mean, uh, there's a lot of cars where in which you can uh, pretty much get all this technology for around $20,000, which is the case in, uh, for the new fit, right? Indeed, yeah. We, we, we fully believe in this fit and we, we feel is it's highly competitive and th we have so many more standard features on all of our various trim levels compared to the competitors so we've got class leading fuel efficiency we've got class uh, class leading uh, cargo space yeah. class leading uh, passenger area and then we have these host of wonderful technologies including the rear view camera um, the standard normal models that we spoke about just a moment ago. Yeah, and also uh, with the Honda Link um, system, uh, even though if you don't get Navi, you can get it through an app. That's a pretty cool idea too. Absolutely, and it's the first um, manufacturer-developed um, app. 
navigation app. So it's the first first one by Honda where you can download it onto your phone and you can plug your smartphone into the system, uh, whether through Bluetooth or the um, USB connector. And then you can view on the uh, display audio, which is a nice big seven inch screen, you can view the, uh, the navigation. So even on the lower trim levels, you still have full navigation capabilities. And that app, I understand it has a cost, but it's a, a one-time cost and that's it. $59. Oh, not bad for an app uh, integrated into the car. Absolutely. And uh, one last thing, uh, you mentioned it briefly there, but I think it's a big part of the story with the fit. Like the cargo space, I mean, a pretty, also pretty um, intelligent solutions for, for example, the seats that fold in very different ways to oh, accommodate yes. all different uh, kind of positions. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, we call them the magic seats. Yeah. And not only with this new fit do we have 4.9 cubic feet additional room, but there's so many configurations where the, the, the second row seats, we call those the magic seats, they fold completely flat or they flip up as well and so you have a nice deep um, area where you can put something tall okay. like, a, like a house plant or a small dog crate, something of that nature. Or a big dog like a great dame. <laughs> Indeed, yes, and because um, especially, you know, some, some older dogs, they have a hard time kind of getting over yeah. a high area. Um, we, because the, the, the door seals are so low, you can walk that dog in and, and there's plenty of room for it. And that, then, that idea, I think, uh, of the folding seat upwards, come, uh, I mean, it's like a, something you, you, you brought from the now uh, gone uh, element, right? Because those uh, cars used to have those seats in the back, right? In, indeed, indeed. And uh, we, we, we had magic seats, or we do have magic seats in the current fit as well, but they're further developed for this 2015 model. And uh, another one of the modes is the long mode, where you can actually flip down this passenger seat all the way down and uh, fold flat the, the magic seats, and you can put a full-size surfboard inside as well. Or take a nap. Indeed, that's what we call our refresh <laughs> mode. And indeed, you can uh, slip your shoes off, stick your feet up, and while you're while you're parked, you can even plug in um, your iPad and watch a movie on the. Uh, on the display audio screen. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Carl. You're very uh, welcome. You have like a nice uh, drive. Uh, a lot of good information about this uh, this car. So, thank you very much for your time. Well, it was a pleasure having you.